We are Susie, Martin, and Julian, a family of Geminis based in Seattle. While it doesn't actually rain in Seattle all the time, spring is not known for being very dry, and this is typically when we need a warm, sunny escape. So we're headed to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico for the first time. It's also our very first flight with our baby and his first international trip. Join us as we drink and eat our way through Cabo and figure out how to travel with a baby. We made it to Mexico with our baby. That's right. <laughs> I love this airport because there's like an open bar like right outside. I think he's so excited to be in Mexico. I think we got it right. Not as much as we are though. That's true. First trip abroad in over two years. Oh. All right, well, we just checked in all the way from Seattle to Cabo. Half a day of travel. Baby did fantastically well. I'm giving a margarita that's called a greet you over here. And our hotel is awesome. Marina Fiesta, I think so. Right on the marina. I'll explain to you why I booked this in particular as we go along here. Are you enjoying your crib? <laughs> are you happy? Yeah, she actually is. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is the 500 pounds of baby food. So as you can see, Julian has gotten a little bit particular about the kind of food that he likes to eat. And by particular, she means salmon, wild caught, bison, yes, grass fed. He will definitely be well fed. Uh, we will as well, but we need to find food, which we will do right after we feed him and unpack a little bit. We haven't hit a bite since last night. Yeah, it's been like rush. And it is like... 3.30 p.m. So we've been going, going, going since 4.30 this morning. Yeah. Almost 12 hours. I've had more alcohol than food today. <laughs> That's Mexico for you. Uh, well, the night is winding down. We are so tired. We got up at 4.30 a.m. This guy slept a lot, but not us. We're at a place called the Shrimp House, and they promise that the food here is shrimply delicious. So I love shrimp, so I have higher expectations. All right, it has arrived. So I got the boiled shrimp as well as the boiled lobster. I think they're both Mexican. At least the shrimp definitely is Mexican. They give you a really big vat of like melted butter here. Oh, that's garlic butter even. So good. Really, really good shrimp. Really sweet and the butter and the garlic go really nicely along with it. Indeed, shrimp are caught fresh in the area and shrimping season usually goes from September to March. Hola from Mexico, we made it. It was a, not a long trip and not a hard trip, honestly, it was quite all right. It wasn't too bad. It was like a three and a half hour flight, which is actually less than we expected. We thought it was going to be like four hours. So yeah, really nice direct flight directly from Seattle. And we're here in Cabo San Lucas. So yeah, I've heard a lot about it, never came. I always thought it's just like strictly for tourism, which it does appear to be. But we're in such a phase that we actually have some needs met here with our baby. So it's a good place for us to escape within three and a half hours from the north. So this is our first full day here and we are starting with breakfast. Well, the food has arrived and looks good, at least the first course. Yes, the first course is chorizo con papas, or mm -hmm. potatoes. And Julian's looking at it like, oh, he's already tried to reach for it. He but really it wants too it. It's spicy for him, unfortunately. But maybe he can have some beans. No? Oh, little jivo. <laughs> Let's try this. I love it. <laughs> so. Well, now our main courses have arrived. We got chilaquiles. We got the beef and the red sauce. And Martin got the chicken and the green sauce. Man, it's really, really good. Everything. Very good flavor. If you don't know chilaquiles, they're basically like tortilla chips. And then they're kind of drenched in like a salsa, either a red salsa or a green salsa, usually some sour cream, and either eggs or meat. So yeah, this is a really nice treat. I was really hoping for this for breakfast, actually. So I'm glad we found it. Julian's <laughs> eating his first tortilla. It's a corn tortilla. I think we've come to the conclusion that Mexican food is one of our favorite foods, even when we're not in Mexico. Because even before we got here, we were eating Mexican food. Even the night before, we had like Tex-Mex. And I was like, I don't mind because we'll be eating our weight in tacos and, you know, chilaquiles and all that stuff. Well, we're walking around Cabo after a lunch or a breakfast, running some errands, such as finding a lost credit card, which we found, finding some hair bands and diapers and wipes. And it's been pretty interesting to get off of the main beach strip. Yeah, we're um, going through the back streets, soaking in all the splendor here. I would say this, it's very functional. You know, whatever you need is there. You just have to kind of look around. I don't even think most of these things are on Google Maps. You just go and see for yourself. And we found what we needed, truly. In terms of the geography and the way that 
things look here, it's kind of like Arizona, but better because it's next to the beach. We also really lucked out with the weather. Uh, initially, we thought it was going to be about 90 degrees or like high 80s, but the forecast, I think, changed recently, and now it's going to be in the 70s. I think it was about 75 yesterday. Should also be in the low 70s today, which is much better. It's still warm if you're directly in the sun, but in the shade, it's actually kind of cool. But yeah, this is one of the random back streets back here. It's uh, mostly built, you know, people's houses, but occasionally you run into like an empty lot here and there. There's the little prints. I got this uh, sunshade for the stroller off of Amazon. It's been working out pretty well. Oh, you just woke up. You can see it's a lot louder and busier the closer you get to the tourist zone. The street also gets a lot wider and a lot more businesses that look like they're catering more to tourism. If you ever see one of these roadside fruit stands in Mexico, definitely stop by for a vaso de fruta. This is piña para la niña. Piña. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> oh yeah, these are good. Mm. You choose, you're the chef, maestro, <laughs> teacher. I always remember these uh, stands when I go to Mexico, the best juice comes from them. And they have like a menu of juice already. Have mango with chili here. Mm. So good. That chili is nice and salty. And it goes with that mango so well. You give it a bit with salt and chili, it's so good. Mm -hmm. mucha fruta. <laughs> Hoy, hoy, hoy tenemos fiesta. Ah. <laughs> These fruit bowls are usually served with a chili lime seasoning that adds a savory element to the sweet fruit. Okay. Basura. Sí, allá. <laughs> Para las vacas. <laughs> Qué grande. <laughs> Gracias. I have the mother of all fruit bowls here with that nice salted chili on it. God, it smells so good. But yeah, that's some of the best fruit I've ever had. And he was saying too that the the basura, the fruit pits and the skin, the cow eats it. So that's great, very sustainable. Now we're back walking down the marina strip where all the tourist establishments are. And you can, I mean, it feels like you're back in America practically. Might be time for the pool now. We'll see how, how Julian likes swimming. He certainly liked his bath. I'll show you guys later how he's being bathed here, but he fits perfectly in the little kitchen sink. In case you're curious, this is how we're bathing him in here. We didn't bring a little baby bathtub. He just <laughs> happens to fit perfectly in the sink. All right, as you can see, this resort is pretty cool because it has a whole kids area. It's got a whole pool area and splash zone just for kids. So this is going to be Julian's very first time swimming or interacting with water. All right, Julian, this is water. You know it's on the bath. <laughs> Yeah, it's now. Are you impressed? <laughs> It's only the biggest thing in the world, mm -hmm. the Pacific Ocean. And so now we're in the main beach of Cabo San Lucas. And it's a cool beach, you can see it around us. On this side over here is the famous arch, but it's invisible until you take a boat to it. And down here it goes for a long time, you know, there's so much development here. Overall, it's a nice beach. It's not the nicest beach, I would say. The sand is on the coarse side. The water is a little cool to my taste, but if it was hotter in the day earlier, it's probably good. Another thing here is uh, it's kind of European style where they develop the hell out of the waterfront and play loud music and have nightclubs and stuff like that. That's something you see here and in Europe, not so much in the USA where coastlines are very much protected and left natural there. You notice we have Julian here on my shoulders. That is um, so that he can pass through here. He still yes. can't walk. As you can tell, this is not very stroller friendly. It is all sand. And actually the marina where we are staying is very stroller friendly. There's a nice wide path, but we've now walked it at least three or four times. <laughs> and it's great, but it's nice to also have the beach as an alternative. And it's a big beach. It goes for a while, it looks like. It's huge, yeah. So that was my strategy, booking on the marina itself 
because you can walk with a stroller. But we, where we are is also right around the corner from the main beach. So we get both. And so the booking is very successful. On top of that, it turns out they have a little baby-proof room. But because of COVID, it's been kind of closed. But they let us in there for, uh, for a little bit for Julian to play around, which is great. Yeah, and he played with the balloon for the first time, which was very cute. And then he slept a lot on Susie's sunburned shoulders. Mm -hmm. So now he's on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Just a gringo in his half Korean son. Already? Huh? When in Mexico, you've got to have tequila, but you've got to do it the right way. First, they eat salt, right? Yes, salt and then cream on food. Okay. It's a good tequila. Huh? Smooth, yeah. Uh, yeah. No bad, yeah. Quite a few restaurants in Cabo will offer to make guacamole tableside. This is a great way to interact with your server and also learn how to make authentic guacamole. Avocados are from here? Yes. No, not from here. No? From Mexico. Mm. Okay. But the only the avocados, you know, they're grown all over uh, one place, only in the state of Michoacán, mm. huh? here in Mexico. Huh. Would you like some onion too? Yeah. There you go. That's great. And then my son proved that he was braver than I was. Biting into the lime. He's not that phased. <laughs> wow, boss. His mom would be much more of a yeah. face. <laughs> Have you ever seen a baby like this? To be honest, Mexico is one of my favorite countries to travel to. To the point I'm considering buying a condo down here. Not exactly in Cabo, but I have some ideas and it's our quickest way down here. We really love it. It's endless summer. People are very hospitable. Culture is vast and rich. It's such a huge country, so much to see. <laughs> For our next meal, we consulted Google Maps and ended up at a gem of a restaurant. The owner was from Veracruz, and she cooked up some of the best authentic Mexican food that we had on this trip. I'm having a pozole, which I really like getting in Seattle. I want to see what it's like in this place. People say on Google Maps that it's uh, traditional, authentic, blah, 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 five star. The pozole is really nice. There's big chunks of meat as well as avocado. And yeah, the broth is really nice. It's not too much. It's uh, really well flavored. <laughs> Mm. Even better <laughs> with a homemade tortilla. <laughs> and that's authentic Mexican video. And Martin's been perfecting his video recipe, <laughs> so now he has a, another thing to stack it up against. Yeah, and the birria is actually from Baca, from Tijuana in the north. <laughs> El tiene diez meses. Oh, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, Julio. Julio. <laughs> Julio regalado. <laughs> ¿Qué fue chupa? ¿Qué mucho tal? Baby's first swimming pool action. Are you ready? For our final meal in Cabo San Lucas, we went to Los Tres Gallos. Unfortunately, we had a sound failure here, and we happened to experience not only our best meal in Cabo here, but also the best mariachi band. Ugh, I really wish you could hear them. But on to the food. The feast started with grilled bone marrow, topped with salsa and flank steak. 
Then we had a Caesar salad prepared table side. Neither of us usually like Caesar salads, but this one tasted so good. Maybe it's because the Caesar salad was invented in Baja, Mexico. For the main courses, I got grilled totayaba, a fish only found in the Sea of Cortez. It had a fresh, clean, and buttery flavor. Definitely a unique tasting fish. Meanwhile, Martin got what he considers one of the best steaks of his life. It was so tender, juicy, and well marinated, and I kind of wish I got the steak. So we finally got on a boat on the last night here. Julian can barely take it, he's falling asleep. He's already asleep, in fact. Oh. But yeah, we're here on a glass bottom boat. This is actually pretty cool. And we're heading out to see the main attraction here in Cabo, which is the arch of the rocks. This distinct rock formation is on the extreme southern end of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. Well, everything comes to an end, doesn't it? Yeah, sadly, after our week in Cabo, we are finally heading home. I actually think a week is a good amount of time. I feel like we did enough without being too exhausted and we still feel really relaxed and kind of ready to head back. That's right, and we are liking this place. We're liking it a lot, so we made a turn. Actually, we will return, but not that much. Mm -hmm. It's the quickest escape for us, and we enjoyed the time. The food in particular was superb. There are many beaches. We only got on a boat briefly, but there's so much boating to do. Uh, we also like off-roading, though we didn't have our Jeep, so Baja, as you know, has the biggest off-roading race in the world, so we can come for some off-roading next time. And good food. I think that was the part that really surprised us the most about Cabo. Every single meal was really exceptional and really stood out. So we will definitely be back for food, beach, and sunshine. This trip had many firsts for our baby. He was able to get on a plane to go to a foreign country. First airplane ride, first foreign country, first uh, beach swim, pool swim. Stood up. He stood up. I don't know if we got it on video, but he stood up in his crib the other day for the first time all by himself. His first lime, first guacamole. First mariachi band, which mm -hmm. was a bit of a problem because mm -hmm. it was really loud, but <laughs> <laughs> he's recovered now. He's mm -hmm. happy. First boat ride. Yeah. So yeah, this is a great trip for Julian. So many firsts. Mm -hmm. Mexico is very special for many reasons. <laughs> Well, that's it for our Cabo San Lucas vlog. We have a couple of other episodes coming up, including a day trip to Toro Santos and a trip to San Jose del Cabo, the other part of Cabo that the tourists usually don't see. Mm -hmm.